he's doing this, he's pacing about the room while he's thinking. Yeah. And he's, it's, it's like a big crisis for him. It's quite, it's a, it's a major thing and he will not have what he regards as espionage in his own home. He regards this as very serious stuff, spying in his own house, in his own household. And that is one thing that um, uh, magnates really have to guard against and protect themselves against. Because it, it's like a little niche opening in their, their brickwork and the whole thing can fall down. Yeah. And he will not have that kind of line yeah. coming into his household. You never know where it, it's going to stop. Yeah. So it is. His eyes have really set. Very big stuff for him. So what does he think you should do about my help? I'll, I'll just yes. go on yeah. to you then, when he starts thinking about you. He knows that you doesn't know anything about this because he knows that you wouldn't allow it either. Yeah and that he would be of his mindset and would be shocked that someone within his own family was inviting this into the house. Yeah. And because you is the closest to my heart and doesn't know, there's part of him that thinks he is very stupid and naive. And he needs his eyes opening, and he needs to have his wits about him. This is what he yeah. needs in my opinion. Yeah. And he needs to come down force of force of yeah, to make sure he seals that. Yeah, and that that. Mm, that's where it ends and no more of it can happen. Right. And then he sees a vision of Mahout and her um, lithe little being, very lively as well. And he thinks, oh yes, far too much energy doesn't know what mischief to be getting up to, doesn't know the proper role of um, an adult woman in a household, doesn't know how to be properly demure and responsible, and he feels this is something that he's neglected. But you, Hugh, has totally abdicated. Abdicated, okay. sorry. Yeah. Hugh has behaved like a child as well. And he really must be set right. And Ida hasn't helped. She oh. treats them both like children. Oh, but it's no good asking her to do anything. So he supposes he'll have to do it himself, like everything else. He has to carry the burden of responsibility on his shoulders for everybody. And he feels like that's how it's always been. And it's very hard work. But then he thinks, well, but you, you get the benefit of it. Actually, he turned his head and felt his fur. <laughs> but you do get the benefit of it. Right. 
And, and there is part of him that actually enjoys that power and doesn't want you to be too powerful because that will cause friction. Yeah. So th- th- it might even be an unspoken part of him that wants you not not to grow up completely because then he might challenge his dad. Yeah. Right. Do you want to find out what he was thinking when he said it then? Um, yeah. So, yeah. go forward. Yes. Shall I go in stages or straight there? Um, well, straight there. Okay. Oh, it... The anger is like a furnace inside him. He's so angry. And it's a feeling of, I'm going to make him do something that's very pointed and I'm going to make him lay the law down with Mahout and have an entirely different way of going on none of this running about freedom stuff but proper sitting down and sewing 